up everybody mix of games here coming back at you with another episode of give me some cap franchise series from added 18 so off camera i took the liberty of filling out all of the xp for the players and just going through all of them and seeing what kind of sets i wanted to bump up and we definitely have a nice few upgrades all along our defense and offense which is definitely going to help plus it's a little bit of a process to do it on camera so we're actually in the last episode we took a look at a bunch of linemen offensive linemen for from pre agency and seeing what upgrades we can make so in this episode we're definitely going to take a look at hopefully the receiving core maybe we could find a decent third uh third receiver that could compete with jalen strong uh and then on, uh, on defense we're actually going to look at hopefully some corner depth maybe a strong safety and possibly a middle linebacker depth um, no one really screamed out as far as D linemen, but we can also just check it out and, um, and look again. Even though Vinny Curry is a 79 overall, he did have double digit sacks last season over Carlos Dunlap. But like I said before, I'm not sure if that's because in the game, Dunlap actually requires a double team and that gives Curry the freedom of having a one-on-one. -on -one. not sure if the game actually takes it that far, but uh, it was definitely nice to see, to see his stats being pretty decent considering he was um, decently cheap trades from the Eagles. So right here, we're going to take a look at wide receivers and see who's available that would that would be a decent guy to go after. Um, Philly Brown has pretty nice stats. Let's see. Kendall Wright, what do you have? Okay. Unfortunately, I do dislike that all these guys have, have come. That's, I know at the beginning of the note change, but at least with that, I'd rather just see the funny. Let's see who else. Any adult. Any Amendola kind of receiver guy like Triggs. He would be he would be an upgrade over Jalen Shimney to Amendola's seven Amendola variants and, and then traits all around. So you know, trying to offer, offer Amendola a contract. Let's see if he'd be willing to be another receiver. For instance, if he'd be willing to an under a bit because one is going for. So if someone does jump in, maybe I'll put a bit. But if not, another guy like Stringer, though, much of us who over the third. Albert Wilson wouldn't have, he's actually much, much younger. And his stats are really nice. Let's see what kind of skill upgrade has. Okay, so he does nice speed. So it would be over to Richards. We talked about Paul Ritt at the first episode. Let's see how trying to end a including round pick. If it's like, no way, I'm going to be. Okay, we're actually going to trim a con for a little bit of one. But like I said, it's all no good going for them. So for them that up and, and try and, as you see, it's still. So there are actually two to go after. A lot of receiver in here definitely can pick certain guys. And has these young, decent catch stats. Kind of like the slot receiver experience guy that, that's. But I could go for for player field or but you know need that, that second guy. I just need a, a third strip. See if anybody is relatively cheap. Create our backup tight end. We have a 28 year old Ryan Griffin. Well, I do have his under the franchise that we're gonna have to look reading from. Possibly get remember scouting and there wasn't anybody that's I might be looking into someone on possibly or for CJ to sign him next. So he's only a couple years old. Well, he's not close, but he's definitely an upstamp. Kind of he has. He has pretty nice traits. And let's see. Trying to lock in stat. Okay. So tied in. All since variants hope. Ooh. So the development scares must have he is really young in that. And he would definitely upgrade the back of crying for, for Austin here. But let's definitely underbid him and that no one is going. Let's pull out a lot of decent from him. He, if he were to run a point, you could get him out of that slow development stat so much. But, um, still has a decent amount of tough because he's got the production that he needs to lay the variance points. Slow development. Uh, let's take a look and who else have PJ Samaro. Let's have horrible. Mm, okay. We're also going to take a look at the D line, our ticket robots. This is still this week startup that we know the guys want. So let's see what guys we have at left end. So this is where we do when we do have Hunter. That would be, let's head out that huge So this, this will back points to go after. Uh, D tackle so have already under contract, awesome. And we do have depth and the right end position that we would choose to up either in the draft or possibly in here actually going for. Let's find. Okay, my Smith. I'm not really. Me, but he would be more. Okay. We're, we're gonna move forward. Left outside, we don't need anybody. Our linebackers are pro set. Um, if there's anybody worth at a bad run Elliott. A bad pass rusher. He has this word of more that's. Um, that's pretty awesome, actually. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can actually get... He, he would be a major over Scarlet. From the same... You got this guy for, for much, much cheaper. Where we actually see what guys are interested in. People were for. I don't, don't remember being in the draft, but it's not much. Because we do have Cunningham. Um, seems to be using as he should. We, will, we do want to keep him around a little bit. Well, let's see under... Zachary, what's that? Really nice B-tap pursuit. Actually, not that bad. 
Uh, ten amount of trait. Okay, so he kill the knight. We're gonna bring him. We're gonna be the tech. So we do have first list, and like I said, another another backup list. Don't you know, anybody out truly want to like? I said that don't to play. We have to spend for as well. Contracts that we do have to put out for. Uh, let's just see who fine. Uh, we give Pierre Lewis a contract. We're gonna have something relatively bull signing us with. The corn corners are definitely getting. But we did to uh, bring Brett Lee, the only guy that we that we went for. Um, Brett Bar. Which is nice, but yeah. still have already done, so we're gonna be on keep an eye out. We're gonna have to sign uh, next year. So, one and for safety. Um, check out wins. Really nice speed. Yusu, Michael, hip hop, and Kaling. Do you love? It's the first spot more than safety. I like to see higher to higher hip power. The first guys to take the pl uh, So, I think be it that we're able to sign actually because. Uh, Lots really nice kickers. He might actually be moving on that he's a sick. I'm really sure what that's our sign here. A relatively contract. Okay. Punter, punter or can one someone real cheap to for here. Main guys, this three wasn't really useful with talent other than world. <coughs> Fortunately, we saw we have pretty death. Yeah, so these guys not that really need to go up. We really call them on. So we're here and see what contracts get us and what contracts we had for. Left then, middle and right outside, and left outside. Okay, we actually have pretty a pretty good signing so far, which is nice. Meaning these guys were actually now that does mean the other guys or maybe some of our you know look at that. But first we're gonna scout and gonna give us a better view. We're gonna be going for draft. Really, really in the backers. How much perform? Point department. Uh, we're we'll definitely take a look at Varnold. He might be gonna go against because it has a balance between him and McGrady. But they have same, same hit power, B plus tack versus B minus, I'm a B tack, B minus a tip too. So in a way they almost kind of, but also that you can see that Arnold has, considering that he was first, and his probably, he was second, but I'm not sure if you okay, yeah. So he was 20 in the third cone, and had, he had a first 6 2 versus the 4 9. Two guys are similar compared to stats. What almost all depends on where the other have development stats, um, it really, really means that. So we said, do scouting what kind of guys that I'm really in my draft, which is on X when you get the little here. The guys that really, really want to go and I'm interested in them in a separate category. The reason why well, um, is just because you stick around. So that they used and also just scouting those players actually get picked with. You know, whatever the guy you actually want to take as a you're gonna miss out on a lot of talent. To uh, back to see, I think we're, we're with offering this season. Okay, so that too. So we're gonna in bid for him and I do come up to Bready. So we're actually with. Just off him, at, you know, kind of have multiple options. Okay, let's so really jump in, which is pretty. So we're gonna take a look. It's gonna try how much I wanted. So he wanted four from there. Oh, at some point, when he so up the bonus on him, we could get him for twelve and see how much of a difference that goes up. Okay, so we push a little bit more of a signing bonus. So we're gonna keep that from the week. See, see if that. Will. So we'll let our contract. Also, you know, looking at us and saying, well, I'm not gonna which is you. So on our end. So we're gonna this is another Richard Freeman guy that are say he's necessarily for way I like depending on what kind of pick you have. If you wanna go with obviously, you know, around at the same time have any than above. So can say he's plus B minus. So you jump in and give us my that's why I'll still absolutely he's he'll put him on. I don't wanna go too high with my first pick if I'm correct. So try and, and see if we get to the into fifth so this it uh Paul Richard unfortunately hurts because we're absolutely in him. Lewis, we're gonna wall and we still have him also young. So let's see if we can get him for, for a decent amount of money. And we'll offer him, let's see. If, okay, so the contract wants plus a little bit more. Colts are blowing me out of the water with this one. I think we're gonna do this. Colts but uh, receivers kindly older. I had the same cast speed. Okay. No. Okay, okay, we're we're probably just gonna we're gonna see. If, hopefully, he'll be a decent third guy. If a guy that's like for him, be a little bit more great. Consider, you know, it's a third tier guy. Be any do smithly in free agency. But he has route really running, needs some work, and he has some decent traits. Contract. See if he'll take he'll take a frick with us. Say hey, no think so. Why not with you guys? Okay, see the last guy. We'll send it into the stage. Okay, and okay, so really we're working sign, which is nice. Uh, Smith Schuster does so well, and what we actually get to do is exactly that. So we're gonna up here. We might even move up to deal with kind of two guys, but at least are better than guy um, guys on the outside, which does help. 
even more out with with backups our linebacker core um our core does need a little bit more but we'll probably the draft we'll uh, gonna check out long safe now and see if i have any anybody i didn't have anybody scout i'm gonna go through nigel for you look definitely for and we're awesome okay the amount of bobby and not even Matt, our first guy uh, if we move strong see here that we that we so we are all set with summit so we're actually gonna go into the all right, which pretty much means they don't like contract them. it's under that so we can always just pick them up see if no one will free fine is that i would launch for the signings we get a very immediate so two tight end spot and pass for the future if we definitely are kicking the ball up some nice back on or and the kevin peerless dossier pamphlet and so not a bad agency in the bank with some this is where like preventing drew Brees is being set arizona on a million dollar 39 still okay and larry is going to the job wow. jeremy hill is going to the vamping they're all veteran gerald and a nice young jeremy hill uh, the raider sharif floyd the bear signed camry headed to chris uh to the line and while they're oh, not too bad <laughs> most of the cowboys okay but the is back in the line man in the game a bad fruit no screens other than maybe some trade and see what's exciting so i'm actually going to leave the f here and on the next right the twindle draft and actually we'll, we're going to live in draft and so this is another episode and hope you guys enjoyed please like uh please can subscribe and comment and we look to go and draft